Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to RC Insiders. Um, super, super stoked today, guys, because guess what? Finally landed. Oh yeah, it is the Red Cat Racing Marksman. Guys, this is the new 1.8 scale crawler that everybody's been waiting for. Uh, me included, especially me. Um, always have, have loved the value that you get with Red Cat. And uh, this Marksman looks like it's going to be another winner. So we're going to take a quick, do a quick unboxing today for a first look. Um, ran out of time this weekend, but I promise the very next video is going to have this thing out doing its thing. I'm going to do a full review on it, but I wanted you guys to see it and experience it with me. I haven't taken it out of the box yet. Um, super stoked, guys. Um, look at it. It is beautiful. It looks absolutely awesome. Uh, just take a quick look at the outside and then we'll rip her open. That's the Red Cat, the Marksman. This is a 1.8 scale brushed electric four wheel drive trail crawler. And it is, guys, it is completely ready to run. Um, you choose your battery. Uh, I can run Nickel Metal Hydrate and either a 2S or 3S LiPo. But this is the motor that it comes with, guys. This is the Holmes Hobbies, the Crawl Master motor. It's a 550. It's got the five slot rotor. Um, you know, it's super smooth. I'm sure you guys who are really into crawling, you know, that's a super smooth um, motor there. Uh, it's got the eighth, eighth inch shaft diameter all set up, guys. Red Cat went out and they equipped this thing with the Hobby, Hobby Wing Quick Run. That's the 1080 brushed ESC. It's 80 amp. Um, all weather waterproof guys so we're gonna hit the trails with this thing dust proof of course and i was saying you can run the five through nine cell nickel metal hydrate or two and three s two or three s lipo uh, guys the esc is programmable so you got 15 programmable parameter items and you got nine levels of drag brakes which is really cool for a crawler so you're going to be able to customize this thing uh you know guys pretty much any way you want uh, we got the 25 kg Hexfly servo. Uh, it's a trusty servo. It's waterproof. We, you know, we we run that servo on all our other crawlers. Uh, great servo. Never had any issues with it. Uh, it does have the anodized metal gears for your long life. Aluminum center case. Heat disposition this position what the heck is that okay it keeps itself cool right <laughs> uh, and of course the metal servo horn uh we call these the xr247 heavy duty solid axles guys i just can't wait to get this thing out and it does have the diamond shaped central axle ho axle housing so you know so it doesn't get snagged up on obstacles and stuff and it does come 2.91 to 1 gear ratio so I do believe that'll be enough on the outside, guys. Let's go ahead and uh, drag this thing out. Um, we're gonna experience this together. So I have not taken it out. Super stoked about this, guys. We'll just start cutting into it here until we get it to open. It is huge, guys. Oh, it is heavy. I don't have an exact weight on it, but by far the heaviest uh, RC. I bet. Okay. All right. Quick, what comes in the outside here, guys? Um, of course, this is going to be. It'll come with your owner's manual, guys. As always, especially with a big uh, purchase like this, go ahead and get flip through that manual, guys. Familiarize yourself with the operation of your vehicle comes with the quick start guide So, you know literally within a few minutes you can have this thing up and running But this is going to have all your warranty information in it Comes with some cool stickers You can uh, customize it any way you want And I do believe that this is it comes with the hobby wing programmer so you can program the ESC uh, any way you need to, guys. This is a simple setup. It does come with that. Quick look with it. Mm. Yep, that is the programmer for your ESC. Like I said, it's fully program programmable with tons of options on it. Of course, it's going to have its own instruction manual with it. But when we do the review, we'll just run it stacked the way it comes. Maybe just switch over to uh, 
lipo yep and there you go that's your program card for your esc and it definitely has instructions with it so that already comes with it guys you're all set up with that put that back in here i'm just going to set all this stuff off to the side for the moment but all important stuff nevertheless right all right let's see what else we can drag out of here oh, okay so it's all gonna come out at one time what is that anything else in here all right <laughs> guys the box is big enough for me to fit in it oh there is stuff in here <laughs> so we got our lug wrench um i am going to say that this is probably a mounting bracket for you know like uh put a fifth wheel on the back of, of of the jeep that would be my guess and that's what it looks like to me so it looks like it doesn't come with the extra tire but you got the whole mounting bracket and system right here if you want to put that extra wheel on the back and make it look sweet We'll definitely probably do that. Yes, I said definitely probably. All right, what do we got here? All right, dun, dun, dun. this is what we came to see. And there it is, guys. Oh my God, it is awesome looking. Here he comes with a little driver. Looks like we can paint him, do whatever we want with them. But roll cage looks super freaking cool. Go ahead and lift this giant beast up. There's our controller. This is in the box, of course. Man, that thing is wrapped up tight. All right, so it's your typical Red Cat controller. It's got all the stuff that we would normally find on it. Steering trim, throttle trim, dual rate steering, on off button steering reverse and throttle reverse so everything you typically find on a uh, red cat controller i like the grip on this one nice trigger and it matches our color screen scheme for our new marksman all right guys so check this thing out oh it is huge guys let's see if we can get a front end flex on that thing before we start ripping into it oh yeah Look at that, awesome flex. And this is a solid axle crawler. And it does have aluminum shocks on it. I do believe they're the 100, 100 millimeter, the long travel shocks. So we should be able to get a lot, a lot of, of uh, play for rocks and stuff like that. All right, all right. I'm gonna start right now. We're gonna we're gonna name this guy. So I'm taking suggestions right now. <laughs> I like how it's got the problem. No problem. <laughs> problem if you can read that means I'm upside down. Check out the detail on the front, guys. It's got a sweet little winch on there. Oh yeah, it is LED headlight ready. So all you got to do is run your LEDs up there into the headlights. We'll get to that. There's a better look at the front. Look at them shocks working. Sweet. Oh, this is the back. <laughs> okay, here's one really cool thing. So from what I understand, is this has a, a second layer of paint underneath. So as you start scraping up off this paint, which we definitely will do, uh, it's supposed to reveal some type of rust paint underneath it. So it looks like a, like a rusty color. It's gonna give it so much better, cooler character. Not better, but cooler. Um, I'm kind of, kind of really wanna get it out and scrape it up to see what that looks like, but I can't wait to see the character that uh, that brings. Um, what else? The tires, you got the uh, M18 tires on it. Really super grippy, guys. Uh, not super spongy, not overly um, rubbery. Looks like they got really, really good grip. 
so I cannot wait to hit the trails with this thing man it's been a while since I've been so stoked about a new car but let's go ahead and uh, rip these pins off and start taking a look under the hood and see what is happening looks like two body clips on the front Ooh, those are in there Oh, you can tell those are brand new. <laughs> Got to work those in. I'm going to look for some uh, pins with the pull tabs. Put that one there. Man, I don't know if I'm going to get that off. <laughs> All right. So let's around the book. <laughs> Always wear safety glasses when removing body clips, right, guys? All right, let's go ahead and take this sweet body off and take a look at that. Oh yeah, baby. And it looks like our ESC now has Dean's connectors on it. So uh, don't worry, anything that you, any batteries that you got, um, if they don't have Dean's, they make little adapters or like a couple dollars nowadays, like literally go from Dean's to any battery you got. So no worry there. Um, I think they left that that way so you you know most of us if you're getting into this grade of a hobby um, crawler you're gonna have your own battery that you prefer to use so that is cool there's your battery tray there it's like it'll fit almost anybody uh, the wheelbase on the crawler was I think it was 367 millimeter stock, but it is adjustable. I believe it has three positions, like from 355 millimeters all the way up to 379 millimeters. Um, stock is 367, which in American that's about 14 and a half inches <laughs> on your wheelbase, and that is completely adjustable. Um, guys, of course, the shocks are completely adjustable. I mean, if you're gonna, if you're in the competition crawling, this thing's going to have all the bells and whistles that you know you're going to be able to uh, make any adjustments you want on it. Um, like I said, from the shocks to the wheelbase to the ride height, um, you're going to be able to match it to any terrain or any competition that you're in. Oh, uh, let's see. It does have the divorce transfer case. You know the. Uh, transmission all metal gearing everything is ready to go oh, what else we got in here that we can see from the bottom Looks like about it there got the three braces on the front got the four on the back this is something that red cat has been using for a while and it's worked really well Everything is metal underneath and strong. So it should have no issues with durability. And that's what I was talking about, the diamond shaped cases on the axles. It's gonna help you not get snagged up on anything, or hopefully not anything. Oh, what else were we going to see underneath here? I suppose that is about it. There's our, our 550 motor under there. Guys, it just looks so cool. And this is the Red Cat's own uh, platform. So I am going to grab, let's grab the Gen 8 and put it up here, guys. So you can have a good idea of how much, <laughs> how much bigger the Marksman is. Look at the size difference in that. Look at the wheels. <laughs> The Gen 8 has been like one of my favorite all-time crawlers. Um, value guys for you know what you get for the money. Red Cat usually comes out on top, but that's about the difference in the the new Marksman from the old Gen 8, the old trusty Gen 8. I can't wait to get this thing back out again. One of my favorite all-time crawlers, but I got a feeling that this one just got bumped up to number one, guys. 
Remember it's got that adjustable slipper clutch. It's got the adjustable drag brake in it so you can set your drag exactly how you want. Oh, so awesome looking. Let's slap that body back on there. And like I said guys, um, very next video, this thing is gonna be out. It's gonna be hitting some trails. And we'll do the full review on it. Um, like I said, you nickel metal hydrate, uh, 3S. I would like to, if I can find my 3S batteries, I really want to run this for the first time on 3S to you know get everything that we're supposed to get out of it. But it is a giant 1A scale crawler, guys. And it looks nothing but bad. It looks awesome. So Red Cat so far, we I know we just took it out of the box, but man, I am super excited and super happy to see this new crawler out. Um, can't wait. Can't wait to give it some character, give it some uh, RC Insider character. Uh, start scraping off some of this paint, start enjoying it. So that is, that is the Red Cat Marksman. Just a quick first look and unboxing. And definitely next week is going to be out on the trails and we're going to get it dirty and scraped up. Alright guys, um, looking forward to it. Uh, guys, if you're new to our channel, hit that subscribe button before you go. And until next time guys, happy bashing.